Hi guys, welcome to, back to my game. Just want to show off what I've done with the uh, the day started. Uh, some sort of thing come up. Uh, I've got the drag and drop if you haven't seen already, but I've added a few extra functions to it the last few days. So I've got uh, swivel now, which is cool. Using the mouse wheel. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, I reckon. Actually, a lot of games that do have drag and drop, they won't have the swivel. Well, some of them that I know of don't, anyway, so... Yeah, so that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, it took me a little couple of days to get it all working. Um, took quite a bit of mucking around, actually, but anyway, yeah, I got there in the end. Um, yeah, so you can pick stuff up, um, put in your inventory. Uh, you can also drop stuff now. I've got that working as well. I just right-click it, drop it out. Uh, well, I thought that's pretty cool as well. Pull that up. Um, yeah. Pick it off the ground, or I could pick it off the floor even. Um, you got yeah, inventory items. Need to eat. All of you need to drink. Um, I'll use a stim. Oops, I dropped it. <laughs> pick that up. And use it. There we go. Get the heartbeat going. Alright, go for a run. Um, yeah, so that's working alright. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, it was a bit of a pain to do. Uh, so this just drops it in a bit of a pile. Um, took a little bit of mucking around. The main things to get that working um, was using extensions. Um, so under each loot node item, which is um, hidden underground, I, I make um, clones of everything. Um, so I don't have to pre-populate the world with uh, hidden objects and just uh, turn them on selectively and off. Uh, it's probably yeah, a lot more efficient. I actually just have the location of the different things I want to place stuff and um, create clones on the, on the fly. So to attach to every node the only thing I have is the uh, this extension to pick up the current node because when I want to drag and drop using the existing extension uh, that I've modified um, for some reason it doesn't pick up the current current node I don't know why but anyway this one picks it up just a very basic simple thing give me the current node uh, I've turned jump off when I'm dragging and dropping because I've had to turn the gravity off when I was dragging and dropping because um, it was just jumping all over the place. The items were moving a lot uh, due to gravity, dropping off the screen below the uh, icon. Um, so it was a bit of a mess. I, turned, I could just turn the gravity off while I'm moving stuff. It works totally fine. <coughs> but to do that, I had to turn jump off and make my own jump as well, which I put in a different video. But anyway, so so if jump is um, <coughs> it's one, means you can jump. Uh, give me the current node. Save it as a pick uh, variable name pickup uh, into that. That feeds into this. That action feeds into this action. Drag and drop uh, gets the pickup. If it's not null, as in if it's actually found something in it, and then it goes runs the uh, drag and drop thing. Um, turns uh, turns the gravity off, off and on. Um, yeah. So I'm just playing with the gravity somewhere between 0.5 and one. I'm probably going to use at the end of the day. Because um, so I've used too much gravity, the items I drop on the ground, they tend to just slide around all, all over the place by themselves. It's a really weird situation going on. Um, so most of it stops if I use about 0.5, I found. Um, anyway, so there's the uh, drag and drop mod. Um, so it only, it only gets fed by the, uh, yeah, that variable pick, uh, pickup variable. And also the rotate with mouse wheel behavior is fed by the same information. So I tried to turn that into an action, but I couldn't work out how to do it. Uh, so this is the, uh, hey, yep, so it uses the same variable pick up and jump. It's just saying um, if it's not null, the item, as in you've actually got something, you've picked it up already or selected it, well, actually picked it up uh, because when jump is equal to zero means you've already picked it up. So you've picked it up and then you can actually rotate it yeah so 
that and a few other tweaks. I had to muck around to get it all to work nicely, but it seems to be working pretty good now. So I'm pretty happy with that. Someone that's not really a programmer, uh, I'm a, a newbie still. But anyway, getting there. A lot of mucking around, trial and error. So I hope you like it. Cheers.